everyone, welcome back on my YouTube channel because every single year everyone really loves like those steering wheel and cockpit explanations. I thought about doing the same thing again now in FIA 3. So if you come actually a little bit closer, um, I'm going to show you the cockpit. So the seat is not in right now, but it normally here's the seat. Um, then we obviously have like the normal seat belts, you know, here you plug in the radio. You have two seat belts over the shoulders, two over the um, wrists, or not wrists, um, hips, sorry, and two between your legs. And then if you go in here, there's like three um, switches on the right side here where you actually switch on like main ignition and the power. And then the green thing here is where you change the brake bias. And here on the left side is just the start button and the fire extinguisher, which you obviously shouldn't touch apart from your car's burning. And then if I take out the steering wheel. So actually it's really heavy um, and also the grips are really big. So I mean, I don't really have small hands, but even for me, it's difficult to hold the steering just cause it's so big and you cannot change it. It's just that one regulated. Then we have six pedals in the back, which you see here. So the upper ones are actually for DRS. Um, and because many people never know how DRS works. So there's a, like a detection zone, which indicates if you're like in between one second with the car in front. And then there's like a start line where the DS opens. So you just have to pull it. You have to keep it pulled the whole time. The thing opens automatically. And then actually as soon as you break, it closes. And as soon as you go over that end of like DRS zone thing, you know? So, that's both sides. Then the middle ones are for shifting. So the right one obviously is for upshifting. The left one is for downshifting. And the ones down here is the clutches because we don't have a clutch at the legs or the feet. So our clutch is here. And then the steering is actually, well, there's many things, but we don't use all of them. But that's the rain button. So if it rains, the lights are flashing in the back. That's the uh, virtual safety car, so um, you have to reduce your speed and then there's a delta time coming online, like on the dash, which you have to follow. Um, here you can actually switch pages with plus and minus. This one is for the fuel pump, radio button, reverse um, the pit limiter, because you're just allowed to do 60 kilometers power in the pits. Um, and the rest we don't use actually. Also this big one we don't use. Um, this one is a throttle mapping, which you can tune during wrong ones, for example. And this one is the clutch um, mapping, which is really important for the start, for the start in general. So you can tune actually if you want more wheel spin or less wheel spin, or if you want more clutch spin or less clutch spin to get the perfect start. Um, and yeah, that's actually, the, that's the steering, which we use in F5.3 and it looks the same in F2 actually. So it's the same steering, just with a little bit different functions. So yeah. That was one me showing you my FIO3 cockpit. So um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and otherwise give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching the video.